So let's talk about the future of real estate in 2024. You know, there's a lot of conjecture about what's going to happen this year, and I've got some very interesting information for you. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Rod Cleef, and I'm blessed to host the largest commercial real estate podcast really in the world now. We're over 20 million downloads, and I teach people how to buy apartment complexes. That's what I do. But anyway, let's get into it. The future of real estate in 2024. So let's talk about the Fed and interest rates. That's been insane the last couple of years, the, the number of interest rate increases that we've had. Well, I'm going to tell you that they plan to cut, but they don't plan to cut. They don't envision cutting until later, well into this year, according to CNBC, according to the Federal Reserve President. But, uh, you know, they also see that interest rates are going to be picking, peaking rather, at the 5.5 to 5.75 range, okay? You know, so just, a, just another quarter, 25 basis points above the current interest rate right now, current range right now. So, you know, they're going to stay this way for a while, but then they're going to come back down. And all of us that are in this business can't wait for them to come back down, obviously. When I got in the business, this is a long time ago, this is 1978, interest rates were 18% to give you some context, okay? I remember doing freaking backflips when they hit 7%, okay? So, so just to give you some context, don't, you know, everybody's been moaning, oh my God, they're 6, 7%. Well, I remember when that was fantastic. So just to give you a little contrast. All right, now let's talk about the Sun Belt. There are 80 million freaking baby boomers in this country getting old and getting cold. That's why the Sun Belt is booming. Now, I will tell you, the bulk of the top market prospects are in the Sun Belt. You know, Florida, Texas, uh, Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, Arizona, all of that. Southern Cal, that's, that, those are the top, you know, top markets because that's where people are moving. So, you know, the Sun Belt basically accounted for 75% of the total U.S. population growth. That's huge, staggeringly huge. So smart money invests in the Sun Belt. That's where we invest. Smart money invests down there. Now let's talk about cooling debt, okay? Debt is definitely slowed down. In fact, debt is an incredible opportunity coming. There's a ton of uh, operators that got into bridge debt, adjustable rate debt, but lending is way down. It's down almost 50% since 2022. I'm gonna tell you, uh, multifamily though is still expected to go up to 339 billion in, in this year, 2024. So, you know, multifamily is gonna do well, but there's, there's a lot of opportunity for people that aren't over leveraged or don't have bridge debt and, and they've got cash, like we've got cash right now. We've got a deal under contract right now, screaming deal in San Antonio, um, one of the markets that we love. But um, you know, deals are coming and a lot of, there are a lot of people waiting in the wings with cash to take advantage of these deals, myself included. So on that note, because there's a lot of debt coming due and a lot of opportunity in this country, a lot of economic uncertainty, and I feel like the you know what's about to hit the fan, frankly, in the commercial real estate space. On that note, if you are interested in this at all, get your butt to my boot camp. I've got a virtual boot camp coming up in April. I do a virtual one almost every three months. Had 900 people in the last one, and I don't sell anything there. You can come and, and and if you DM me, if the price has gone up, the price will end up around $400. But if it's above 97, DM me, I'll get you in for 97 bucks. 97 bucks, nothing being sold, 16 hours of training, kind of a duh if you want to learn this business. But here's the thing. Don't sit on the sidelines. There's incredible opportunity coming. Figure out how, what your vehicle is going to be. And again, if it's multifamily, come see me. If it's something else, that's fine. Go learn it right now, though. Don't wait. Now, if you want to fast track this, I've got a mentorship program called My Warriors. My, my students, my warrior students now own upwards of about 190,000 units that we know of. And it's an incredible group. And if you want to check into that, you text the word CRUSH to 72345, or you can click on one of the links below. All these links will be down below. But uh, that's my warrior program, and, you know, and uh, that's how you apply. Uh, but anyway, now let's move into the next piece, home buyers, okay? There is a huge pent-up demand for housing units. Here's the reason why. Because a lot of people that bought... Um, pre-interest rate rises and got interest rates in the or refinanced and got interest rates in the three percent range, myself included. We're not going to sell. We're not going to sell and get a seven percent interest rate on a new property. So there's a huge pent-up demand and there's a shortage of housing units. 3.8 million units shortage. That's staggering. So I'm going to tell you that high demand with low supply is going to continue to keep our rental market really nice and strong. You know, the National Association of Realtors 
only expects a 2.6% increase in home prices, and that's being suppressed because of interest rates right now. So it's kind of it's a really weird market that we're in, but it's great for us that rent properties. One of the things we look for in when we're evaluating a property is the disparity between the price of the houses in that submarket that we're buying this, this asset in and what we're paying per unit um, for the apartment complex. Like our, the San Antonio deal we're buying right now, we're paying 100000 a unit, and I don't know off the top of my head what the disparity is, but I'm thinking the home prices are probably around 300000 in that particular submarket in San Antonio. We want to see that disparity because if it's close, if, if we're paying 300 a unit and they're selling houses for 300 a unit, they're going to buy instead of rent, right? And so we always want to see that sort of a disparity. Um, wage growth. Wage growth, believe it or not, is dropping. You know, it's not going up anymore. So it's dropped uh, by uh, 0.2 to 0.6% uh, this year in 24 compared to 2023, according to Mercer. It's back to the late 2020 levels. So again, it's stabilized and it's even dropped. So, you know, and that, that keeps people price sensitive, which again, bolsters demand for our apartment complexes because they can't buy or they don't want to buy until they, you know, feel their, their wages going up again. So, uh, again, these are all positive things for the multifamily industry. All right, now let's move into uh, short-term rentals. Guys, the short-term rental market's getting creamed right now. National occupancy rates have dropped from 70% to an estimated 58% and between 2020 and 2024, you know, according to Airbnb and VR, VRBO and so on and so forth. And, you know, at least 26 major cities are passing legislation to put restrictions on Airbnbs. My brother's got some Airbnbs in Georgia in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and, and he's seen his occupancy drop there even in that sort of a destination. So we're going to see uh, single family homes that were bought as Airbnbs are very likely to go belly up because they, you know, a lot of people that bought these were banking on those high cash flow numbers and they don't break even uh, with long-term rentals. And, and so there, there could be some, some opportunity there. Now, I love to talk about single family versus multifamily as well. You know, if you own a house and it's empty, you're 100% vacant, okay? Now, if you own a multifamily property and you, you know, say a 10 unit, you could have two or three units empty and still break even. And that's why we love multifamily. So now let's talk about the year that we're in. We are in an election year. And I'm going to tell you, I really, I believe, I think the current administration has got to prop things up. They're going to force interest rate reductions to try to make themselves look good before the election. But after the election, I think all bets are off, okay? And I can tell you, 45% of the investors believe that this year will have a greater impact. The election will have a greater impact on their portfolios than any, pretty much anything else, including market performance. And 32% of operators believe that a recession is imminent in the next 12 months. And, you know, another 31% believe taxes are going to jump in the next 12 months. I believe that as well, especially in some of the states that are in trouble. So the bottom line is, uh, you know, you still have some bonus depreciation this year. There's, there's a recent uh, uh, bill that is, I believe, both houses are supporting to get us back to 100% bonus depreciation, retroactive even. Let's pray that goes through. It looks good. But you want to take advantage of these favorable tax laws because, uh, again, major changes are coming. And I think there's going to still be some great opportunity to save on taxes. Development has slowed way down, okay? That, uh, you know, the U.S. Census shows that uh, building permits for housing starts are down 4.2% compared to last year. Basically, uh, overall building permits are down 4.4% since October of 2022. So I can tell you that not a lot of people are bringing stuff out of the ground right now. And it's, it's difficult to get funding for new development right now. I have friends that have land that's sitting there, uh, uh, ex-partners that have land that's sitting there that they're, you know, likely just going to try to flip because they can't raise the money to bring them out of the ground because things have slowed down. You know, banks put their heads in the sand when they see this economic uncertainty. And so development is absolutely slowed down. But what's good about that? That means we're not going to have more absorption and it's going to mean stabilized and or rental increases because of uh, the demand and, and the, the lack of, of, of availability because th there's not as much new stuff coming on the market. So that's going to be a good thing later this year and into 25. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Uh, and, and I want to mention if you go to rodslinks.com, that's my link tree. There's a link there to my podcast. I hope you'll check it out. I know you'll get value from it. There's a bunch of free books there, free resources. My boot camp site is there. It's a lot of free information. And, uh, and again, if you want to come to my boot camp, just uh, ping me 
uh, and I'll get you a code to come for $97. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and all the links will be down below to make it easy for you to click on this stuff. See you soon.